Nature can be deadly. Man-eating beasts will kill in a heartbeat. And the largest land carnivore of them all is the bear. Which is why you should never do this. The claws on that thing. Holy macaroni. This bear could bite this man in half if he wants to. Why isn't the bear attacking him? Great question, Matt. To get the answer, we snatched Jim from the jaws of death <laughs> and joined him and his wife, Susan, at the Orphaned Wildlife Center in New York State. These are bears that would have never made it in the wild anyhow, but they're our family. They're our kids. So death the us part. <laughs> Interesting choice of words. <laughs> OK, why isn't Jimbo eating out of Jim's noggin like a pot of honey? Jimbo was born in captivity to a mother who was also born in captivity. And so he really hasn't had any interaction with other bears in the wild. And in fact, he's quite used to humans instead. He's not threatened by Jim at all, but he still has the hardware to do serious damage. Jimbo weighs 1,400 pounds. That's more than 630 kilograms. So a mere swat of his arm could break human bones. If he's equipped to survive, why doesn't Jim just set him free? If they were to release Jimbo into the wild, he probably wouldn't do very well because he hasn't developed the skills of finding a mate, staking out his territory, or associating with conspecifics, which is a fancy way of saying socializing with other Kodiak bears. Is Jimbo so civilized that Jim's never in danger? When Jim is interacting with Jimbo, it's important that he remains very calm. Even when Jimbo seems to have Jim's head in his mouth, he knows that he needs to react slowly and calmly. But if ever there's a time not to freak out, it's when your head's in the mouth of a bear. Yeah, you don't buy good clothes. You buy cheap ones because they don't last long. <laughs> There have been fatal attacks by Kodiak bears when they feel threatened or have been surprised by humans in the wild. That is why no one throws surprise parties for bears.